those goosebumps every time I need the heim to throw that to the side yo. Google, what does a monkey sound like? Here's a monkey sound That does not sound like a monkey We're going to have a look at the Google Home Mini. Uh, so you can pick this up for around £50 uh, dollars wise. I think it's actually $50 as well in America. So that's awesome. But this is, this is the Google Home Mini. I've actually opened the box. Uh, I'm just going to show you a quick overview of the box anyway. Got Google Home Mini. This is the charcoal grey colour. Um, how can I help? Basically just showing you how you can use it. So just by start by saying OK Google or Hey Google. And where is the nearest file shop? And it will tell you. Uh, when does it close? It will tell you, tell me about my day, it will literally know your name, it will tell you everything about your day and everything that you need to know. Um, if you have, it will basically it all connects with your phone, so you download the app on your phone and it connects it all, but we'll go through that a little bit later on. Uh, remind me to pick up the birthday cake at 5pm on Friday and it will literally remind you on 5pm on Friday to pick up the birthday cake. Uh, you can also connect it to your TV, so if you have a Chromecast, you can connect it to that and if you say play Stranger Things on Netflix, it will play Stranger Things on Netflix. Uh, you can also say connect to your Spotify with your phone and you can play any music. So if you say play this song, uh, I don't know, play Man's Not Hot, it will play Man's Not Hot by Big Shot basically. It is pretty cool. Um, how do you say how are you in Portuguese? It will say it. And basically this, this device is for the future. It's to get you ready for the future and the future homes. Uh, when homes start to become smart, basically when you get the smart light bulbs, every, I mean they've already got them but when everyone starts to get in all the households, smart light bulbs, smart thermostats, smart TVs, uh, smart sound systems in your home, basically this will connect to all of that. So you can literally just say, uh, hey Google turn the thermostat up to 23 and it will turn it up to 23 or hey Google turn the lights off in my bedroom and it will turn the lights off in your bedroom, it will all connect to your house. So it's kind of scary in a little bit because it knows everything you're doing, it's also listening to everything you do. So it's a bit scary, but that's the future. The future is a little bit scary. Uh, it is small and mighty, so there it is. It literally everything. Enjoy entertainment, voice control your home, get questions, answers, tackle your day. It can even tell you if there's traffic in your area. Um, there you go. So it supports Hue, uh, Philips, Wemo, Google Photos, Google Chromecast, uh, Nest Home, Smart Home. So this is all these like future companies, uh, companies that are around right now who are their partners and probably will get more partners into the Google Home as well. Uh, right now the UK version can't make phone calls, but I've heard the American version can make phone calls, so that's also quite interesting. Uh, what comes in the box is basically, let me just grab it over here, you get the Google Home Mini, uh, you get this plug and micro USB cable to actually power it on. This is the Home Mini, this is the charcoal grey colour, we'll have a bit closer look at this later on. Uh, what else you get in the box? is basically a welcome pack to just get started and it's just literally sort of like flashcards to get started and a quick manual as well and warranty and whatnot let's move this on to the side let's have a look at the actual device now uh, so on the back of the device we've got the micro usb charging port or power port it doesn't actually have a battery so you can't charge it it does need to stay plugged into a wall 24 7 uh, which is kind of a downside which is something i don't like about the google home the only thing is that it needs to be plugged in to a wall it needs to be stayed into that outlet which is quite annoying um, another thing is you can mute the mic so it doesn't listen to you 24 7 I mean it is kind of creepy and scary I'm knowing that this thing is listening to you 24 7 any conversation you have it could be recording it could be listening to it and Google know about it so that's why they kept the off switch there so you can switch off the mic just in case you don't want it to record anything uh, it does have a reset button at the back over here a small little circle if you do click it you can you can sort of hear it, it is a reset button we've got the google logo, we've got this non-slip uh, rubber pad which is also really really good you can see here very good non-slip pad um, if you move it around then this is the front of the device we have the volume down button over here so it's actually a tap button it's a touch button so you won't even really see it, it's not a physical button volume down, volume up over here we've got some LED lights over here so I'm just going to go ahead uh, put in the cable, so the actual cable that it comes with is actually really nice uh, high quality cable as well and it really clips in I'm just going to go plug it in, power it on and well, we'll go from there, so I've already downloaded the Google Home app uh, let's plug it in anyway and power it on, and you see the lights will turn on in a little while once it's all powered on, there you go 
So it will just load up basically. And I've already downloaded the app. All you got to do is go on your app store. So it is compatible with iOS. Uh, so with iPhones, iPads, iPods, and also any Android device. So Samsung Galaxy, LG, Sony, Huawei, whatever you got, it can literally compatible with all of them. So this is the Google Home app here. It says Home. Just download it from your app store, open that up, and you just go through a connection process uh, with the phone and the app. Really simple. So there you go, just powering on. Does make some noise when you By the way, the mic's off. To turn it back on, slide the switch on the back of Google Home. So there you go, it's just informing me the mic's off. So basically, it's not going to be. By the way, right the, so the microphone back is back on. There you go, it's back on. Uh, volume up is this one here. You can see here. Volume down, now it's on mute. So it's a bit, there you go. Not fully responsive with the touch buttons. I, I don't really like the idea of the touch buttons. I would have preferred physical volume buttons, but it's still a nice touch. It does look super futuristic as well. So when you do download the Google Home app, uh, literally you can do everything from here. So uh, pair your voice with it, so it can recognize different voices. So if someone else uh, said something to it, it would know who that was speaking. If I said it, it would know if I'm speaking. So you can, you know, change your name, add a shopping list, you can connect your home controls, like your LED lights, whatever you want. You can do everything, everything you want with it. Um, so for example, I'll, I can say, hey Google, what's my name? Your name is Gunny. So there you go, it recognises my voice and it recognises that's my name. Now, if someone else asked it, if, it, if you had the Google Home app as well connected to this device, it would recognise your voice and everything about you as well. So I can ask him anything, so like, um, for example, what can I ask? Hey Google, how's the weather today? It'll be partly cloudy today in Welling with a forecast high of 8 and a low of 2. There you go, it gives me the weather. Right now it's 8 and partly cloudy. There you go, bang. You can literally ask anything you want. Anything Google can do, you can ask it. You can also ask about traffic, uh, how long it will take you to get to one place. So, hey Google, how long will it take me to get to London Eye? If you leave at 3.15 p.m., it will take you 57 minutes to get there by public transport. I've sent the directions to your phone. Bang, there you go. So literally, it's found out that I want to go to London Eye. It's found out that I usually take public transport. It's found out how long it will take me from my location. And they sent it all straight to my phone. And I'm literally good to go. So as soon as I open up Google Maps, bang, I'm ready to go. So there you go. How long we get from London Eye? Just tap on that and literally sort it out. So I think this device is really really cool it is super futuristic um the only thing i don't like about it is the touch buttons it's not really perfectly responsive um the other thing is it only connects to your tv if you have a chromecast so if you just have a normal smart tv that has uh, sharing capabilities it won't work you need a google chromecast which is quite annoying but hopefully in the future if they do some updates maybe they can sort that out and just do every tv as well um, what else I don't like about this device is that it's cable, not battery. Uh, also, the touch buttons, not a big fan of it. And also, it is constantly, constantly listening to you. And sometimes, when the Google advert comes on the TV, this thing talks thinking that you're calling for it because the advert says, you know, hey Google. So every time you say, hey Google, it, it lights up, it thinks you're My apologies, there you go. I don't understand. And that can be a little bit annoying. But other than that, I think it's a really cool device. It's definitely pushed towards the future and it will definitely fight against Alexa. And there's actually something interesting. Uh, let's ask what it thinks of Alexa. Hey Google, what do you think about Alexa? Alexa has such a soothing voice. I like it. Uh, so that's uh, Google pairing up with Amazon there for a little bit, but slow key firing shots anyway. Uh, so this is the cool device and I really do like it. Um, and I hope you guys will like it as well because I am planning on giving one away now I know I've been away for a really really long time and I haven't done many videos so I will be giving away another Google Home Mini a brand new one as well so I have got a brand new one and we're going to be giving that one away to one of you lucky guys all you got to do is hit the link down below um, there will be a giveaway link just enter it follow the rules uh, make sure you do follow the rules if you do skip steps and stuff I do know about it and you just automatically get disqualified so you won't even be notified you just get disqualified the system just scans everything so do follow the rules uh, but do check it out there will be more giveaways coming soon um, I've literally just planned so many so many things to do and you know what I mean more giveaways will be coming soon because I've been gone for a long time and I've been doing a lot I've been partnering up with a lot of people 
so just be prepared be patient i will be back soon and as always don't forget to comment like and subscribe uh, the google home overall score probably 8 out of 10 i think it's really cool if you want to purchase it link to buy will be down below in the description and as always thanks for watching and make sure you do subscribe um enter that giveaway it is down below in the description the link so easy to enter as well yeah and it's free and it's international you can be anywhere in the world and enter it and good luck guys